Hello. What's up, everybody? I don't think uh, the chat will work, though. Let me actually see. I don't think we have a chat overlay, but it's okay. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone can uh, can hear me okay today. No overlay chat? It is what it is. I, I don't know how to set it up proper, maybe? Let me see. Let me see if we can get it to work real quick. First time doing this in a little while, so... How you guys all doing on YouTube? Gelatin Evolve? The jelly. The jelly, baby. I can't see myself on the screen. Hold on, hold on. How do you set this up on here? Let's see. I don't know, do they even have an overlay for... For chat? I don't think they do. Yeah, I don't know if they do. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Also, Taylor, thank you so much. I appreciate the, uh, the T-Rex typing crew, by the way. How do I redeem? Yeah, I don't know if there is a, a chat box for this. Hmm, interesting. I don't feel seen. I mean, I can see you guys. I hate YouTube stream, but for you all tune in, thank you, dude. You know, it's, it's, um, I don't know. I just feel like they raise the prices for Canada, right? On Twitch. And, um, it's going up to like $7.99 before tax, man. And I don't know about you guys, but it's getting kind of expensive. And at least here I can set my own, which is, I think I put it at $2.99 Canadian. So... So chat so dead to, uh, can't even see you guys on screen. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I don't think there's a, um, I don't think there is a thing we can use for this. Yeah, I don't, it doesn't look like anything we can. Yeah, I don't think there is something we can use. That or I probably have to look into it. Either way, I'm not too pressed about it personally. Um, you need to ask the Lugwood pro properly. Oh, not too sure. For once, make your sponsors big. <laughs> Should I just put them, put them in the middle of the screen? Uh, if you like that, can DM you. Would, uh, yeah, sure, Brandon. It might have. We might do some more stuff tomorrow for this, but I mean, like, I hope everyone's doing okay, though. I hope everyone's doing good. My normal name is here. It's Dandy. What's up, Dandy? <laughs> Giant Omni type logo. Smoke. Can't see myself on Chatterino. Taylor, thank you so much for gifting a membership, man. I appreciate you. There's multi-streaming right now. Is it multi-streaming? It shouldn't be. I don't think it is. No, it's not. I don't think we're gonna multi-stream. I just wanna try doing this, so. Um, yeah, there's no commands either, guys. The thing we're doing today, everything, the nice thing about this is no more commands for stuff like this. I can put all that stuff in the bio per video. Um, I don't, I don't really care too much for like what platform I'm on at the end of the day. I just don't want you guys to, I don't, I just don't feel like $7.99. And then on top of that, most people are still watching like two or three ads. Crazy dude. Nobody redeeming compliment. I will try my best to figure out some fun stuff that we can do here as well. But am I late? What's up Terrence? How you doing? Insty. What's up dude? Uh, True down with Twitch. Yeah, it just, it feels, like I said, it feels weird charging $7.99 Canadian. Like I have to, I only have to go and like now personally select some stuff, so. Shiro, it's probably gonna do that, yeah. Thank you guys for the, for the gifted though. Mr. Kibe, thank you so much for the gifted. Really appreciate that, dude. You can charge me anything, BB? Huh? Wait, so we move into YouTube more often? Probably for client builds, yes. For other builds, we'll probably still stick to Twitch for now. But I, I want to say posture check. Yeah, you can just redeem things by shouting it out. Uh, about to make an iced coffee. Oh man, that sounds delicious actually. I uh, I made a nice coffee this, this morning and I'm pretty pumped up about it personally. Is this going to pause or what's going on? What's, what's it triggering that it's trying to pause over here? There we go. Um, flip space bar. Hey, okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, wait a second. Okay, you know what? For you guys, we'll do a flip space bar today. Uh, Alex, do you have any thoughts on palm switches, uh, i.e. Kale Ice Cream Pro Series? I haven't heard of those personally. Um, so I'm not 
too sure, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I just haven't heard of those. Like, at all. I'm building my PC Kohaku. Actually, you know what we could do? Nah, actually, that'll be silly. All right. Let's, um... Let's do this. Just got my Suse and it's incredible. Oh, by the way, for everyone here, I don't know if anyone here is their first time being on stream um, from YouTube side of things. Let me tell you this right now. I don't know if I'm gonna do it on YouTube or Twitch or not. Maybe I'll figure out a way to do it. Who knows? I'll figure it out. March 15th, I think I put it on the 15th. I will be doing a giveaway. It'll be like a subathon mini thing type, just to cover shipping. Uh, for about 15 different keyboards. So, Megan, thank you so much for the tier two. I appreciate that. Tier two type crew, thank you very much. Um, so there's gonna be, one of the top prizes will be, uh, a, a prizes, one of the giveaways, the top one will be a Suse. Um, so I'm giving away a personal Suse that I have. So, send to the details on Discord, BB. Thank you, Brandon, appreciate you. <clears throat> Caffeinated by, okay. Sea balls. Okay, cool. I'm going to do that afterwards. I thought you signed with Twitch. Uh, no, I'm allowed to stream on both. They, You can stream on either one. You just, I don't think as a partner you can do both at the same time. But yeah, you can do one or the other. It's it's no longer you can just do the one. It's been like that for a while, I think. Has it, guys? Personal sussy? Huh? But thank you, Megan. I appreciate the tier two. Uh, there's no reply either. Smoge. Hi, Key, though. The reply button sucked. That little chain of things was so complex to like navigate. I just at people, it's fine. <laughs> All right, today we're doing something fun, um, but some other news. I heard that that, la that game called Last Epic, Last Epoch um, came out today and I kind of want to play it. Actually chat on YouTube OBS overlay. I'm probably going to download that afterwards. I was going to go run and download it now, but uh, yeah, I just, I didn't get to. Wait, apparently I can add it. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's see if we can get this done. Hey, thank you guys. Appreciate you guys all for being here today. Uh, just give me a few minutes to set a few things up and then we'll get right into the build, baby. <clears throat> so go to YouTube browser, YouTube, go to your YouTube channel, the icon on the top right corner, go to live. It's like pop-out chat in the three dots. Copy the URL of the pop-out chat. Oh, they just want you to use a scene for that. Oh, I see. All right. Pop-out chat. Uh, this is like my fourth or fifth YouTube stream type deal. So. Let's see. What if we do this? There. This kind of works. <laughs> it's not the best in the world, but... Um... Hold on. It's not the best, but you know, we'll make it work. Here. <laughs> that should be fine. <clears throat> Uh, switch it to live chat too. Live chat, what do you mean by that? Uh, Alex, how do you deal with GMK space bars that are warped? I have been very fortunate in that I don't think a single one of my space bars have been warped to the point um, that it's been, you know, bad. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think, oh, switch it to, to live chat. Oh, here, live chat, there. There we go, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I've been fortunate though. I don't think my, none of them might have been like absolutely terrible. Um, but I've heard you can just do, I've heard you can just do, uh, you know, I don't know. I've heard, I've heard you can just do the normal methods. Actually, we'll switch it back to that one there. Uh, my heart wanna talk to her, what the? Mustache man, what's up, dude? Uh, back in the day, YouTube Plus came out, they made you switch to the real name. Uh, we'll have to keep it clean. Yeah, I think my original account also has made me switch the, the name to. Please stream more on YouTube. I mean, we'll see. I heard the quality on YouTube is supposed to be much better. And it's been a long time since I've done a YouTube stream. So 
Uh, someone mentioned Helldivers, and I think I told you guys my Helldivers story so far. I did download it, I did try it, but ultimately I returned it for now. Um, so, yeah, I can see the hearts you guys are sending on the bottom right of my screen. So right now I don't have uh, I don't have an account for Helldivers. Oh well, I guess that's the best way to put it. Actually, how do I make this? Why am I, why am I struggling right now? Oh, I know why I'm struggling. Yeah, so just I, I haven't set one up personally. Uh, Mr. Kibe, thank you. What the? Mr. Kibe with the huh? Yeah, I actually have like some new uh, things control over like the membership stuff. And I've added one just because a, a lot of people have always asked me about this. Uh, why am I struggling with this right now? Hold on one sec, guys. A lot of people have always asked me to... Um, Okay, you know what, Alex? What is going on with you today? I don't know what's happening. It's my, my keyboard like just not. Huh? Yeah, so you have the chat on your screen. Wait, the chat you have on screen is not your chat. It isn't my chat? Oh. Oh, you're right. This is the lo-fi girl chat. Oh, my bad. Why is it showing the lo-fi when I literally popped out mine? No one told me? Nobody told me, guys? Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Nobody freaking told me. Hold on. Hold on a sec. You guys, I am new to this. What is going on? Let's go find mine. You inspired me to also create keyboard content? Oh my God, dude, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Big one up, dude. Thank you very, very much, man. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you. Uh, dude, it's, it's a little hard to navigate though. I have to admit, I have to like figure out where things are and shit. Let's go. So here, now we can do this. Now we can do pop out chat. Oh, thanks for letting me know, guys. Oh, copy paste. I think I actually, there we go. There we go. Boom. I'm a new streamer guys, finally. I'm a new streamer, new here. Not my normal stuff, you know? Alex on YouTube, thank you though, Nana Keeves. I appreciate you, dude. Uh, Doing a live stream, finally. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I, I've been, um, I'm gonna be playing Le Last Epic, I think. I think that's gonna be my new game to play. I'm very, very excited. Uh, but I also started a little challenge with myself. I don't know if I guys, I told you guys this. I started a challenge, basically what I wanna do is I wanna take a photo of a non-keyboard thing once a day. That's like my challenge to be more creative to myself this year. So, Oh, you know what? Let me copy the, the chat to the other one here. There we go. Uh, let's just make it smaller, put it right here. <laughs> All right. Actually, do we like this here? Let me just put it like this. No, yeah, let's do no chat overlay on this one here. You're right. Let me get rid of the other overlay quick. Um, I did that challenge too. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I think this is the year. By the way, I've never built one of these before. So this is the first time I'm building one. I just got my Evolve. Uh, great time to get some advice today. So much cleaner now. Interesting. So they still have that Jelly Epic tag. Actually fitting. We're doing the Epic and I really want to go play the, 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 the last Epic game. Interesting. So this is the, uh, uh, I guess, the upped version of the Jelly Evolve. You know, I don't know. I don't think the client specified whether or not we're foaming this bad boy up today, but, and I also don't remember the cost of this. I, believe it or not, guys, I have the original Jelly. 
and I wasn't too interested in picking up another one. So I, oh yeah, technically this is not the Epic, this is the Evolve. But I never actually wanted to pick one of these up. This was just not on my like table, you know, not on my like list of things to pick up. Also, I have a question for you guys. How are you guys feeling lately with foam, uh, not foam, um, PVD? Am I the only one kind of getting like bored of PVD keyboards? I think for me, I kind of prefer the non shiny stuff on keyboards. So, I mean, it does look nice. I like PVD, Evolve looking nice. So when, did you, when do you stream on YouTube? I think we're gonna do it like once or twice a week, just for funsies. It's pretty nice though. Fingerprints in micro scratches. Yeah, that is like one of my biggest pet peeves of PVD. I can't stand seeing my fingerprints on it. Drives me nuts. PVD is still nice, but I appreciate more uh, matte finishes. Yeah, I'm in the same boat as you. Quite literally the same boat. So, um, <laughs> bro, what headphones am I using? I'm using Campfire Andromedas. All right, let's leave this here for now. And let me just see if the client wanted me to use all the foam or whatever. Let's see. Let's see if they put it in their notes. I don't think so. Your last YCA cable on space cables, are they gonna make more? They should have actually released a few more. If they don't have a few more right now, then they most likely don't have any left in stock, but they just made a small batch. And I mean like quite literally a pretty small batch. I, I don't know how much Reagan ended up doing. Uh, just dropped by to say, love you, man, and your mustache is awesome. Thank you, Pipe, I appreciate you, dude. Campfire is in a jelly. <clears throat> I think I just called broke three in different times. Well, this is not mine. So you guys understand, I don't know, uh, again, maybe some people first time on YouTube here. I do client builds. Majority of the builds I do are client builds. This is not mine. I'm doing this for a client. Um, this keyboard up here is mine. I I'm building this one for a client. This guy's mine. But yeah, the Andromedas are the only IM left I have uh, from my my time in the audio hobby. And I'm gonna be 100% with you guys. I don't think, I, I really don't think I'm ever gonna go back into the audio hobby. I, I just don't ha have it in me, man. Well, anyways, let's start lubing some stabs while we wait for an answer there. Let's do some stabilizers. But I think we're gonna be doing a standard layout today. Oh, by the way, the box for this thing sucks. This is the box it came with. All right, this thing here, I really don't care for this type of box. It looks neat, like it's fun to like open up, I guess. The camera's gonna freak out right now. But like it's already broken, it's like floppy all over the place. The pull-out tray doesn't really pull out very nicely at all on the bottom here. So yeah, the box is awful. I don't know why. This is a few keyboards now have been offering boxes like this. And I don't, I kind of want to be the guy to say it because I feel like it needs to be said. Bro, why is everyone doing boxes like this now? What happened to hard shell cases? God, that was terrible. Why can't we just go back to hard shell cases, man? This is a YouTube only stream today, yes. I, I am more into hard shell. The audio hobby is having a fit over Carmen, uh, Harmon diffused curves. Yeah, I'm just not into the whole idea of the audio hobby these days. Customer experience. I mean, that wasn't a great experience. My box is really nice. Well, maybe this one here got a little effed up in uh, transit. Okay, I'm pretty positive we're gonna do four stabs today. Man, I like that box. It's a nice looking box. It is pretty, but I don't think it's very functional. Um, what's your opinion on Owl Labs stabs? They're good, but I think the only flaw, which is also its biggest strength is, are its wires. So if you happen to get a wire that's not straight, then because it's using that like memory metal thing, good luck getting it straight. However, they're still good. Like I have no issues with them. Uh, and Duroc stabs are fine, despite what anyone says about them being like bad. If you know how to lube Duroc stabs, they will work 100% of the time. Like there's no, there's no variables I find with Duroc stabs. Oh wait, I forgot to turn on the light. 
I mean, I forgot to open the shade. One second. What's my favorite stab? Cherry clippings, baby. Uh, I've never had issues with owl stabs. If you uh, do have problems, they will replace them. Really? I didn't know that. Hold on, hold on. I, I open the shade, guys. Shades open. Exposed. Hey, shades open now. We're good. Yeah, my bad. Uh, I enjoy the audio hobby over keyboard now because you know what? I'll be the first person to say this, all right? The, the, the keyboard hobby at the moment. I have not, like it has been a while. Like we go through phases of elitism and stuff like that with, with the keyboard hobby. But dude, these days, it, it has just been like, first of all, people have been jumping like on just pushing their opinions down people's throats. And I think that's where it gets a little dangerous, you know? And then second of all, dude, I've had multiple people come to me, tell me that they've been like basically shunned out of like a community in the keyboard space because they didn't own or have something that someone else did or they had some like some lesser keyboard and you know, their, their opinion. Dude, it's terrible. Huh, Insty? How are TX AP stabs? Uh, the AP ones are fine. They still have a little bit of quirks with certain plates due to tolerances, like if the plate pushes on the stab, but they're fine. They're much better than the Rev3 ones. And you still have to lightly lube them. They do not play well with dielectric grease. Uh, filming switches is so much work. It's also not necessary to, you know, like not every switch needs it. Um, I would even say some of the switches like, um, what is it like even, even cherry switches, for example, you know, they don't really need, need it. Wait, did something happen? Sorry. I'm also very new to, to this, but if there was, a, I don't even know if you could do raids or something. I don't know if there's a raid or something, but I have no idea. Sorry guys. I'm very new to this. Uh, I should, Alex, should I use only foam on my Neo 65? Wait, should I use the foam? Um, yeah, we use it. Why not? Have fun with it, dude. Try it. I mean, I think you probably have a hot swap version, right? If you don't like it, you take it apart. Make it an afternoon. Have fun with the products you buy, right? Like, you don't have to settle on one thing. You know how many times when I was first starting out, I disassembled things, put things back together, and just had a blast with it, dude? It was nice. It was great. I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't know. I'm still waiting on an answer from the, the owner. They didn't put any notes in their, their build log about what foams they wanted. Um, they might have missed that section, but it's fine. I'm, I'm going to get an answer. Tinkering, deaf, deaf part of the fun. Yeah, it's 100% of the fun. 100% of it, dude. May I ask if you could verbally try to explain how much it is too much lube? So are you asking, Sean, are you asking more for stabilizers or switches because i think there's a bit of a difference and depending on which stab you're using too nice to see you on youtube thoughts on the zoom 65 v3 first of all andrew thank you very much um oh man okay the zoom i personally feel has too many options <laughs> um it, it does have too many options man it's just, uh, ugh. also is the stream okay guys? Uh, is the, uh, is like, is it lagging? Does it look bad? What do you guys think? I, I, I can't really tell. Does it look terrible? Does it look all right? It's all fine. Perfect. It's cause it's spitting out an error message saying I chose the wrong resolution is apparently you can't use ultra low latency mode with 4k um not even vip i don't think there's a vip thing here looking good cherry wires are so hard to balance there's they're always so warped how do you do it i have a video actually on youtube that you can find with it on how i do all the balancing it's very simple but yeah the, the zoom just to answer your question again i think there's just a lot going on for the zoom and if i'm going to be honest i think that in my experience with keyboards that offer like 25 different mounting styles. Is the music on? It is now. I turned it off for a second. When a keyboard offers that many, 
typically some of them are not going to be to your preference. Some of them might even just be straight bad. So is the music too low? This is a, this is not a YouTube problem. This is just a me, my hearing problem. I left it on the same volume it was last time. <clears throat> Salar, 100%. Try, try with and without for your Neo 65, okay? Um, in my opinion, you can do without. Uh, do you like PC or aluminum cases more? Okay, can I tell you a kind of low? Let me turn it up a little bit. Can I tell you guys something really funny? Let me tell you guys something. Let me just turn the music up a little bit. Let me tell you guys something funny. I had a dream last night about just that thought, aluminum and polycarbonate keyboards. And in my dream, it's the weirdest shit ever. I don't even know why I dreamed about this. In my dream, I was like, dude, you know what be, you know what I want to do? I want to snap my fingers and then every one of my keyboards turned into polycarbonate. And that's what I did. Every one of my keyboards turned into polycarbonate when I snapped my fingers. <laughs> so that was my dream. So maybe that means I like polycarbonate, but I mean, I also really like aluminum keyboards. So first time watching your stream, what's up, Jay? How you doing? Uh, Midas Touch with polycarbonate is the strangest. It's because I spent so much time with keyboards yesterday, like more than I normally do. Because I try to like take a break towards the end. But yeah, I was just going crazy with it, dude. Um, MJ2, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that, dude. Uh, but not, not, not too much is going on with me. Just building keyboards today for a client. Just chilling. Going to be playing some video games maybe later when I'm done all my work for the day. But I woke up nice and early to do all my work. Got like a nice little 8.30 wake up time, 8 o'clock wake up time. A polycarbonate W1AT. Ooh. Alex, what is the name of you? Oh, it's, it's literally just my stabilizer lubing video. Um, so you can check that one there. And then in, in that shows you how I do all wires, but it's just basically doing this. Like if, if you guys just want, it's just this. I put a finger here and a finger here, right? Make sure your desk is flat. Uh, you can use a flat object as well. And then you're just gonna tap over here and see how it taps a little bit. This is typically fine, even just like this. Flip it over. Now it's not tapping at all. So it means that it's probably t turned up a little bit like this. So you can just lean it over your desk, which I can't really show you guys right now, and just continue to put a little pressure and bend it until nothing happens anymore. Is your desk flat? Hey now. Hey now, Abo. Calm yourself. <laughs> what if my desk is also bent? Man, I thought maybe leaving Twitch for one day would get me off the crooked desk stuff, but I guess not. Um, can you use clip-in stabs on the board that uses screw-in stabs? Yeah. Uh, assuming that it has mount a PCB mounted stabs, yeah. We all know Alex has a smiley desk. Okay, guys. But if you guys end up liking um, YouTube streams, perhaps we'll do more. Let me know, okay, guys? I was talking about switch lubing, if you could please help me. So, Sean, with switch lubing, too much lube is going to be, first of all, kind of in a way preference. I hate to say it. And this might sound a little gross, but when you start feeling squishiness or when you start hearing like slushy, like a slushy, like wet sound, um, you know, lack for a better word, you know, it's like macaroni, you know, like pasta, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's when you know it's too much lube. I would also never in a million years, like I still follow this one rule. Do not put um, lubricant. I don't have a switch open at the moment. You know on the stem of the, the pole and also that little center well of the bottom housing, do not put lube there. You know, sometimes you can get away with over lubing a switch, but the moment you put even a little too much lube, and this is like a finite, this is a fine line of too much lube. Uh, I would just not do that, you know. Recently got into keyboards, got the Mode Envoy. Time to assemble, any tips? Uh, you know, for the Mode Envoy, I'm using it right now. Don't put the screws in. Just straight up, don't use it. Also, just be careful when picking it up. Like, don't throw it around, but I don't put the screws in. I think the screws make it sound a little bit weird. I just dip my entire bottom housing in a 205. Is that not right? You know what, Trudeau? I don't know if it's right or wrong. Perhaps it is wrong. Perhaps it is right. <laughs> I'm not too sure. 
but I would say probably not. No multi-stream? No, not today. <clears throat> yeah, experiment a little bit. I would, I would personally say the majority of switches though, they sound good with super light coats of lube. All right? Super light coats usually work well. Uh, oh, so client wants a 7U. Um, okay, so let me just quickly grab a different spacebar wire because this one here is incorrect. <clears throat> I've had zero issues with screws, but mine is a pre-release version that has different internals. Oh, baby, a YouTube stream? I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope it's fun. Um, wires. Sagging desk, I can confirm this. 70 wire. What'd you guys have for lunch today? I had a, a little deli sandwich that I whipped up. We're drinking water right now. I had a coffee already today. I feel like I don't want another one. And thank you, Gingy. I appreciate the dollar fifty, man. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> that means a lot, bro. Personally, love YouTube streams. YouTube just behaves better, especially if watching on the side. Maybe it does. I do feel like they've changed a few things, so perhaps I make the switch eventually, but we shall see, we shall see. I just feel bad because people have a lot of points on the Twitch. I know they don't really mean anything at the end of the day, but it is what it is. If there were raids, I'd be on board. You know, one thing I will say though, I haven't really been utilizing the raids well on Twitch, just because I don't know if you guys have noticed, there hasn't really been a lot of keyboard streams um, just and just keyboard content in general. So it's been a little tougher to find other keyboard people. Like during the days, sometimes I'm kind of struggling and I just end up raiding, raiding gamers. So a uh, newcomer here wants to say your content is amazing for someone who's just getting his hands wet on the keyboard scene. Hey, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. But yeah, I think this will be a regular, well, not think, I know this will be a regular thing. Um, I'll do, uh, I'll probably do one, one to two YouTube streams a week. I don't know if I can. I'm gonna message a Twitch representative and see if I, I can as a partner, but I'm pretty positive I can't. I think I still have an old contract, that's why. If I can multi-stream, then I'll just do that. But if not, then We'll just go back and forth a day or two. So far I'm liking it. Chat seems nice today. Last time I tried it, there was just a lot of like random craziness and like spam. Uh, I also love to hear some opinions on XHT BDZ versus Dielectric Grease. I've been using more XHT lately. There is absolutely nothing wrong with S XHT BDZ by the way. Nothing wrong with it. I personally think it's probably the best lubricant you can possibly use for your stabilizers. Um, however, I don't think XHT is for everyone, especially because it is a little bit more expensive and it is a little bit more, uh, tougher to kind of get perfect. Some people use XHT, XHT BDZ and maybe they don't have a steady hand or they get it into a spot they, they shouldn't have. Uh, and then it makes the whole stabilizer feel very sluggish. Um, so dielectric grease is a little more, uh, forgiving, but, but not permatex, not permatex. Don't use permatex. That's not forgiving at all. Also, you guys are able to hear the music now. Everyone's good with music. I know it's kind of light, but XHT is messy. Is this a scam stream? Huh? Scam stream? What? What's wrong with Permatex? Um, Permatex basically is like water. Yeah, it's a scam. No chat overlay. The chat overlay didn't look very good. I'm gonna figure that out for next time. Not live on Twitch, not today. We're doing YouTube today. 
Uh, I don't know if it's just me, but my Gatoron Oil Kings have a hefty amount of factory lube. Is that normal? Dude, Oil Kings are so all over the place. Like, I, I have no consistency from Oil Kings. That's why I tell everyone just to not bother with, with Oil Kings. Like, when it comes to using the stock, uh, you, you kind of do have to lube it yourself. <clears throat> Twitch streams are dead? No, I'm a little... Okay, to, to tell you guys again... I'm a little upset because, um, oh wow, look at that, that's crazy. Uh, what is going on? So, I'm a little upset because of two things. Uh, I, I don't know why it's doing that for. It's just like catching up with itself. Um, I don't like the fact that I got an email this morning and it says, hey, you're living in one of these three countries, we're raising your Twitch subs by a dollar. And now my Twitch sub for me subbing to people is $7.99. But on the flip side, I have watched more ads in the last like half a year than ever. Like I went to go tune into a random person's stream yesterday just to see what they were doing because they had a keyboard on their desk. 45 seconds of advertisements. 45 seconds. And there was another one I went to go watch um, a minute and 20 seconds. And this is like, from, this is like, I watched five minutes of this one person's stream. Then I just went to go view someone else. So in the course of six or seven minutes, I had to watch almost what? Two minutes worth of advertisements? Just to watch seven minutes worth of content? So I just, I felt a little bit like, I, I kind of had a bad taste in my mouth yesterday from that man. And then on top of the email that I got, oof. So I, I, I'm a little, I got a little annoyed, not gonna lie, man. YouTube might not be perfect right now, but at least I can kind of like, for example, the sub cost here, I can set to $2.99, which is fine for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I heard about that, Shiro. <clears throat> Thanks so much for your help. Uh, love your content, keep it the amazing content, bro, much love. Thank you, Sean, appreciate you, dude. <clears throat> I don't know what the split is here. Honestly, guys, like I'm just, I'm happy to be streaming this today. So great content. Thank you so much, Rhino Tech. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you so much for the 10. I appreciate that, bro. Thank you, thank you. Um, First super on stream too. That's crazy, man. Avo, thank you so much for joining the T-Rex typing crew. Thanks, bro. Uh, what do you think about the Everglide Aqua switches? I haven't, uh, Everglide Aquas. Have I used Everglide Aquas? I don't think I have, to be honest. So I'm not 100% positive. Is there anything else in here? Oh, there's lube in here, but I'll, you know what? The client can keep their own lubricant, it's fine. Um, if you get content matched midstream three times, your channel will be deleted forever. Twitch just silences the VOD. Well, we'll see. If there happens to have a problem like that, then obviously I'll reconsider things, but for now, we're fine. <clears throat> Already smoother than Twitch. I think it's not even in 4K right now, it's in 1080p. I'll have to I'll do uh, 4K. I'll do a 4K way tomorrow. <clears throat> Does this PCB have mean cuts? I can't remember now. Oh, it's 1440? Oh, nice. Okay, I didn't know that. Hi, my name is Instigator. This is my personal account. Please enable my mod powers. Fair as, dude. Insty was already in here, so. <laughs> Bam. A little PCB action. Oh, this is a hot swap. I thought we were doing solder today. I don't know why I thought we were doing solderable. I prepped all my solder stuff. Wait, were we not supposed to do solder? Hold on. Mm, I guess it doesn't really say here, does it? Gear shifter. Dude, you look more handsome on YouTube versus Twitch. Hey man, thank you dude, I appreciate that. You know what, it's the hair today. I actually did my hair for you guys. I figured, yeah, yeah I think you could, I don't know all the currencies, so you guys are gonna have to forgive me. It's gonna be a learning process. 
Um, but yeah, I, I don't know what all the currencies are. Huh. No meme cuts. Do they offer a meme cut one? Cool. And the client did say they wanted the one piece of foam, being this guy. I'm not using a real cement desk. It's not a real one. Um, that's it. One sec, I'm just gonna clarify with the foam here. One moment. Dude, I think my cable is being funky today. <clears throat> uh, would you say Nixies are deeper or high pitched compared to MX Blacks? Uh, they are a slight bit deeper. The Envoy sounds so good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I prefer YouTube over Twitch because you can actually rewind when needed. Oh, that's true too. I forgot about that. <clears throat> okay, we're actually gonna use PE film. Actually, that's kind of exciting. I haven't used PE film in what feels like years. So kind of exciting to use that today. Obscuras, believe it or not. Oh God, the sun just came out. Uh, why do I feel like Nixies are way deeper? I mean, they're like slightly, you know? Uh, if you're responding to something 20 minutes later because the 20 minute delay. It's not delayed 20 minutes. Oh, uh, so you should just, um, oh, I see what you mean actually. What would you suggest between the Neo 65 and Tofu? N Neo, to be honest. I don't really, I didn't care for the the, um, the Tofu 65, Sean. I'm, it just wasn't my thing. Also, there's a lot of construction outside right now and I might have to go close this window because it's actually really bright now. Toronto weather is so strange. Uh, this is the Envoy, yeah. Toronto weather is just all over the place, bro. I'm using Obscuras in my Envoy. No commands, no. There's no commands, you know why? I like this about YouTube though. You have all the stuff that we do in this thing down below, like the little uh, bio thing, so. What I am is Campfire Andromedas, baby. Oh wait, can we not use 7U on this? That is a big smudge. Fixed spacebar. Why would they do that? Well, the client did say if we have to use 6.25, we'll use it. And I guess we have to. Ah, uh, dielectric grease again. I'm wondering about all these sudden attempts to run DCS sets right now. It seems weird, but Omnitype is talking about DCS dual shot. I mean, dual shot would look cool in DCS. Does YouTube support mustache zooms? No, that's an OBS thing. That's just like OBS can't handle the zoom thing. I have to use Streamlabs and uh, I'm kind of not really into Streamlabs right now. The hate the screws in my Envoy? Yeah, I do not add the screws in my Envoy at all. That is something I just do not use. Oh, you know what I started playing as well? Well, Okay, I've been playing a little bit of Total War with one of my other friends. That has been a blast, by the way. I've never dabbled in the Total War series until recently. And dude, I'm having such a good time. And um, another game I'm probably gonna dabble with as well, other than Last Epic, is It Takes Two. I played a little bit of that the other day and I was having a blast. That it takes to really, I don't know. It gives me like a uh, nostalgic feeling of playing games with like, you know, just as a kid on on a split screen type thing. I I think people need to do split screen gaming again. That was it's just so much more fun, man. Um, I'm not too sure, Zwabi. I'm not too sure at all if there is one for YouTube. Yeah, I ah, dude. I tried doing the second playthrough of Cyberpunk and I can't do it. I, I just, I'm not interested in doing like all the storyline over again. So, hasn't really been my cup of tea, I guess. 
Uh, what switches do you use in your board, Alex? Those are clacky. These are um, mode obscuras. They are the uh, the version that I collabed on them with, but they are indeed still Obscuras. Dude, why is it always really nice outside the days I'm streaming? Or it turns nice when I'm streaming, and the moment I'm done streaming, the weather goes back to, to poo poo. Uh, let's just grab my screwdriver kit. Cyberpunk has zero replay value. Maybe that's what I'm feeling. Like, I just don't feel like replaying it. Uh, I lube my Obscuras just very lightly with 205G0. No films, no nothing like that. I don't even bother spring swapping them because the stock springs are pretty good, actually. T stream 24-7 so the weather stays the same. Wait, that's actually kind of true, though. Bro, you stream like five to six days a week? I do stream a lot, huh? Is that a lot for keyboard stuff? I think it is. Tomb Raider Remastered? I have not played a Tomb Raider game in a long time as well. Tomb Raider sounds actually kind of fun. Oh, by the way, I watched the new Indiana Jones. I don't think I told you guys about this. Dude, I don't think it was that bad. A lot of people rated it really badly. I don't see why it was so bad. It was actually kind of fun to watch. I don't know, maybe it was just me. First time catching stream, uh, love from a local Torontonian. Hey, Joseph, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Do I have any favorite Fuji film recipe? I did have one. I don't really use film sims much anymore. Um, the few times I do take my Fuji outside, I actually just have been shooting raw recently because I have a preset that I've made that I use for all my stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't really have a, a recipe right now. Actually, I have like two or three different presets I use for all my stuff. More my style of things. And I like the added flexibility of the raw files again. I go back and forth. Sometimes I like just doing JPEG. Sometimes I like using raw files. Uh, for stream, I'm actually just using a film sim. I just use standard Provia. Just easy peasy. F nope, didn't put a thing on this one here. Easy peasy Provia, nothing, nothing crazy for this one here. I think the only thing I do is plus two on the highlights, or I guess minus two on highlights, and then minus one on shadows. That's it. Oh, dude, those Bam uh, photos from Bamf are gorgeous, by the way. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. What are the Alex Odo's recipes? Oh, do you mean like my presets? You know, I've never thought about giving you guys them at all or even offering them to you guys. I don't know why. I just figured that's just part of my workflow. Is that something you guys want? Presets? For photos? I although, I have to admit, though, guys, it's, it's different depending on keyboard stuff and outside stuff. So keyboard stuff is just very flat, like nothing crazy. There's no styling to anything. All right, if you guys want, I will figure out a way to export them. I actually don't even know how to export all those settings. I will figure that out and I will put that in one, probably my coffee thing. Ko-fi coffee. Indiana Jones movie with my dad who had seen all the previous ones and they came out. Yeah, dude, it was nice. I don't know why everyone hated it so much. Everyone was like, oh, this is a really bad movie. It doesn't do Indiana Jones justice. I liked it better than the last one. Body pillow, then presets. Uh, coffee chat, been really active. Oh, and Discord. Yo, Alpha, dude, that coffee, Um, I forget the name of it. You sent the two the two tins. Holy cow, it, it's probably the best coffee I've ever had. Like, the best one I've ever had, man. It is so good. I, I'm worried now because I'm gonna want more and it's probably expensive to ship to me, probably. So good though, man. Wait, which coffee? Here, I'll go get it. Let me just make sure all of our stabilizers go up and down here. He ordered that. Uh, 
I'll have to thank him too, but uh, thank you for shipping it because I know it's a joint effort. Here, let me go show you guys. Okay, this is the flavor I've opened and had already. I guess the company's called Mame. This is full bloom. This was delicious. Absolutely insanely good. In case you guys want to see it. It's like a nutty, chocolatey sort of thing. Or pecan, walnut, velvety. Almost tastes like a chocolate almost too. But I did this with the AeroPress and then I did one with the V60. Gotta admit, man, the AeroPress kind of hit nice. I really liked the AeroPress with this. That was really good. Um, hello everyone. What's up? How you doing, dude? I need to sleep now. We'll keep the live on because Alex's voice is music to my ears. Thank you. Uh, he's no longer doing oily dark roasts. Yeah, this might be my new go-to, man. Th this, uh, Alpha and Tri sent another one over too. I just don't remember what it's called. It's that one. There's more like a spiced, spiced one. I just don't remember all the details on that one there. Uh, ME, please tell me the key switch with the best sound. My friend, it is all preference based. If you're asking what I like, I personally think Cherry Nixies and Obscuras are one of my favorite sound profiles for keys, for switches at the moment. So those are my preferences, but everyone's preferences will be a little different. Bye, Soran. Copies from Brazil, no wonder. Yeah, that was so good. Um, checking out DR70F here before I shoot some photos of it. Oh, how'd you like it? All right. We are good to go here. Um, okay. So, stabs are good. They're all perfectly looped. We probably will have to do a little bit of tuning here in a bit. But then, let's put our FR4 plate on. And let's start putting in some switches. So these are interesting. It's been a long time since I've used these switches. Yeah, I'm kind of excited to try the PE film again too. It's been a little while. So there should be a Nixie in here, I think too. Somewhere, I think I saw one. If not, then I'm, I'm blind. But I think we're using a Nixie for a space bar today. Ambo, I, I have a good feeling. I, before stream, I was kind of checking them out by hand, you know? And I thought they, they sounded nice in hand. Okay, my only gripe with PE film is getting all the alignment rice the first time. Especially on a hot swap model. My only gripe. I have one more uh, dying question. Is it worth lubing the springs if there's no spring ping? That's a tough one. Y yes, in my opinion. Yes is the answer. Because you know what, I, I think if you're going to do it, do it right. I know that sounds kind of lame for me to say, like you're building a keyboard, do it right the first time type thing. Uh, don't, don't have that regret of having to like open it all back up and redo all the switches just because you skipped a step, you know? Let's see if I get that time. PE film, man. Never fun to put in switches. Uh, I lube everything? Yeah, you kind of have to, I feel like. It, it is more of a... So nice. Consistency is king when it comes to keyboard stuff. It really is. It is super, super important. Uh, I like dark roasts personally, but you know, lately I've been kind of into trying 
Not everything. There's only been one coffee in recent times that I've been like, oh, that tastes gross. I had ordered a coffee with blueberry notes and I just was not into it at all. It just was not my thing. So I think in recent times it had to be the worst one for me. Uh, there was a ratio for bag lubing the springs. Well, if you're gonna bag lube just the springs, there is like a sort of like a ratio you can follow, which is gonna be more along the lines of like just putting in about 10 to 15 drops. So yeah, the reason I didn't really like the blueberry, I guess flavored coffee or whatever you wanna call it, it just, it had a very acidic -y taste to it. Could have been just the batch I tried, but oof, I did not like it at all. It was not nice. Um, so the roller switchers, any questions, any opinions? I haven't actually used them in a build yet. They're on my list to use this week though. Well, actually they were. I don't know if the keyboard got delayed again though. A weird uh, fruity light roast. I don't mind fruity light roasts, but there's like a, a tolerance I have for it. Because or else I'd rather just have a tea at that point. Are exciting, there might be the new endgame clacky switch. Really? Yeah, I was really excited to try those two. I, um, did you end up lubing yours? Did you try them already, Elnet? So they have ball bearings on the side, which I don't know for certain if it's in a eventually caused the switch to be more scratchy, but it kind of has a unique feeling to them, which is kind of neat. You almost don't even need to lube them, which is interesting, but I still am ended up lubing a few of them already. Um, <laughs> you'd like, uh, yeah, you'd like the fruity coffee I sent with uh, Kawa before seems to be the roaster. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm seeing too with the coffee stuff. Just seems to be the roaster and if I'm not into it, I'm just not into it. How do you think the Haven 65 still holds up to the current keyboard market? I love, I love that question for, for this reason. So I personally think the keyboard is still great. Um, but I love that question because I always get to say this too. In my humble opinion from doing keyboard stuff, I personally think the idea of a keyboard not holding up only applies to a very select few keyboards. And I would say a lot of keyboards in a hobby that's very based on look, feel, like there's so many different aspects in which you can appreciate. Uh, it's rare that a board will ever be like, oh, this just straight does not hold up. Usually it's to like a version two, right? But I think it's always good to also appreciate um, the keyboard for what it is as well. He just showed the beans. Oh, I, I do my own grinding of beans. Oh, did you guys hear my back crack? It felt good. These switches are a little awkward to put in though. I think it's the PE film that's making it a little difficult, but we'll get there. It's gonna be a little slower today, but I hope you guys enjoy a little bit of a longer stream. Uh, these are I guess these are considered silks, but they're lubed, filmed, spring swapped, and they're the Olivia colored silks. Uh, bought a modern M0110, I love that board by the way, with only brass plate with no foam. Uh, any clue if I'm gonna regret soldering glaze green China kale switches? Honestly, addiction pump, I have no idea what those even are, so. I can't really give you a great op opinion on those. Um, not sure. What's up, Kush? How you doing, man? Yeah, I, I apologize. The longer the stream, the better. Why don't you put that in brackets, Dragon, huh? <laughs> what the? I found out when I got my Nixies that in that without 
wait, sorry, uh, without films, they basically sound like maracas. No, I've I actually have done a few non-film Nixie builds, and they sound like, not like maracas. Did you lube them? Opinion on Epo Maker or a seventy-five? I have no opinion on any of the Epo Maker Epo Maker stuff. I have never even once used them, so. They're not really, I guess, stuff that I normally go for. You know what I might go grab quickly? I might use my, uh, probably use the, the handy dandy plate fork. Why the switch to YouTube today? Um, simply put, I think I was a little turned off by Twitch's price increases. And I had like a little bit of a weird experience with their ad system yesterday that I kind of got like just peeved at personally. And I thought to myself, if I'm peeved and I'm the one streaming, I can't imagine someone who's, you know, viewing. So this is just me sort of rebelling in a way, but not really, I guess. But I was just a little peeved that they, they uh, raised the prices for Canadian subs to $7.99. It's, and it's just like the only thing you really get out of it is the lack of ads on my channel. Because now they've introduced, you know, like the, the common emotes that you can use. So I was just like, man, that's like, it's great because you get no ads, right? I'm going to be very honest with you guys, okay? Ad revenue on Twitch. I don't know if anyone here streams as well. Twitch ad revenue is the worst I've ever seen in my entire life for the second worst I've ever seen on any platform for ad revenue. And the fact that they're taking, like they probably get a big cut of that. Like they, they probably make a lot. I'm probably making like probably, I don't know, a percent or two of what they get make for, for ad revenue. And they're just like, yeah, we still need to raise the prices for subscription models. Kills me because I, I make, just so you guys know, about 50 Canadian to 60 Canadian dollars on ads per month for, you, for a Twitch. And that's streaming five to six days a week uh, with VODs that, you know, get like, I'd say a decent amount of views. And the, the average time on those VODs are pretty high too. So to make 60 bucks, which is realistically not a whole lot. It's not a lot. When YouTube offers better rates for everything and I get to set my own sub prices for people who are willing to support. Yeah, it, se it seems like just a positive thing to me. Do your VOD upload to YouTube? Yeah, this will be immediately available on YouTube as well. I don't know what the cut system is here. I just know that I can set my own and I got to see that I was like, oh cool, let me set one for $2.99. So I think that's what we set it to here, so. Makes me feel better too. But again, I think I'm gonna do on and off just for now on both platforms. Just kind of feel it out on both. So I, I think a few people do want Twitch streams. Like I promised them Twitch streams. So we'll keep both active for now. At this point, if you're willing to full-time switch to YouTube, we might as well swap our Twitch subs over here too. Yeah, it's, it's kind of looking like I'm going to be taking that path, FYI. Because I might even just cancel my Twitch partnership. I might like send them in a ticket saying like, hey, I don't really want this. Um, because I, I probably want to multi-stream, if anything, for people who don't want to leave Twitch. Uh, when I pull a Thor and stream both YouTube and Twitch. Yeah, that's what I'm probably going to end up doing in the long run of things. Dirty, thank you so much for the T-Rex typing crew. Appreciate you, bro, for joining. I don't know if it's allowed for Partner Plus, though, because that's what I'm considered, Partner Plus. I, I have no idea. I have to look into the contract, Avo. This was a split-second decision based off an email I got this morning, okay? I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's not like I researched this all night. I saw the email of it being $7.99, and I was like, nah, man, F that. And I just switched right over. T 
T-Rex taping crew. It's an old joke. Old joke that I've never let die. <laughs> Streaming in general seems to be a, in a bubble. It relies on advertising and sponsorships since the first thing companies cut back on during tough economic times. Yep. Yeah, it is. It is, uh, it is tough. But it's, I think, um, I don't know if you guys are interested in hearing about this kind of stuff, but for, for me anyways, I do client builds. It's, that's the majority of like what I do, I'd say. It's always nice to have a cool sponsored stream. You know, it's, it's fun because you get a few extra dollars in your pocket. But for me, I, I, I have a decent little system of doing client builds and then being able to charge lower rates for those client builds because I can supplement it on streaming like this. Oh, really, Kylan? I didn't know that. Any ideas of non-long pole switches that kind of sound like long pole? That's tough. I don't think there's anything. No, I don't know if there's anything like that. You, you'd unfortunately have to go to long pole or fortunately, whatever you want to view that as. These little, <laughs> this plate is so irritating. Macchiatos might be the closest thing. Beautiful. I love that the client put this in the box, by the way. Absolutely stunning. What a great looking switch this is. Oof. This is the space bar for today. <laughs> they forgot to dye the top housing. Apparently that's a thing. Who's telling me that's a thing? Someone was showing me that there's dyed cherry Nixies and I was like, dude, those are so sick. Um, pocket Nixie. Except it wasn't in my pocket this time. This was a client pocket Nixie. I, I do think that filming them does help in the long run. It gives them a nicer full sound signature, but it's really just exclusive to cherry switches because of the tolerance. You know, like not every switch is gonna sound better just because you filmed it. That's a very common misconception that I think people need to like let go of. Like for example, these switches, they definitely need to be filmed as well. I do feel like they do. Uh, I got you, Alex. I'm here to fulfill your Nixie fix. Thank you, dude. I appreciate you. Uh, this is a plate fork. I used it a little bit today. It's a little hard to put in some of these because of the, it's not even anything else. Just the, the thing having so many cuts in it. So many little meme cuts. Does spring weight and switches affect the sound? I would say, I would personally say yes. I, I think so, yes. I think some people might disagree though. the only weird part about these sometimes. Uh, these are the Olivia NK Silks. They look pretty in this though, they really do. That looks fantastic. Mm, mm mm That's why I chose them? Yeah, they look great. Oh, you got a GMK hat today? <laughs> this is so cool. I caught a live, what's up? How you doing? No, I actually have not used it. So Alpha, last night, I decided that I was gonna go the route of AeroPress because I was in a bit of a time crunch and I couldn't find my carafe, so I was just like, 
okay, let me just quickly use AeroPress on a normal mug. But the, the mug is so pretty, man. I need to use it. Actually, I should have used it this morning. I don't know why I didn't. I wonder, does it hold just as much? I don't know what the milliliters on that is. I need to figure that out too. AeroPress is very good. Didn't expect a YouTube stream. How's it going? It's going pretty good. I'm happy to be here today. I'm hoping everyone's enjoying themselves. Let's switch some stuff up. Let's move this keyboard to the side. Let's do this. Now, does this disassemble the same with like the side screws and stuff? Ooh, this is very different. Look at the side profile on this now. That's actually a pretty nice side profile, actually. Wow. Hmm. I, I look stupid with hats. I have big ears. Like, they stick out. I don't know if you guys saw. It'll do the thing where it zooms through chat now, but you guys see how my ears stick out? So hats never look good on, on me normally. But I like them, so... So wait, how does this unscrew? Is it pressing feet? No, it is pressing feet. Oh no, but there's no screws there. <clears throat> They're on the sides, the tabs on the side. Oh, interesting. No screws, baby. So you just push down and it lifts up. How does that work? No screws need it. I can see they push in, but. Hmm. Do you ever graze the inside of your headphones? I do. Flip it around first. Oh, interesting. So you lift up. Oh, cool. Oh, that's pretty nice. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, Owl Labs. So it uses these tabs and flips up. Cool. I never did the proto for this or anything like that. Still not 100% sold on this mounting style from them, but. They got saucy with this one. Very interesting. I guess we'll leave this film at the bottom just in case this contacts. I don't want this to short. Also, this foam, by the way, I, it's the worst foam in the history of the planet. This does nothing. This foam is actually useless. I don't know why brands still put foam like that in the box. It doesn't even alter the sound at all. Barely cuts down any frequencies that you hear. Oh, I guess let's do this first. Yeah, the case film's awful. But the internals are pretty simple on this, huh? I guess you don't really need to do much. This is the daughter board's already installed. Now we are using PE foam today, which should be pretty fun. I'm excited to try it out. Isn't the QK75 used in it too? Uh, they might have included it. I, ne I never ended up using it. I don't remember if they did include something like that or not. But okay, so I'm already gonna say this though. I know this is not really supposed to be a review of any sort. The jelly, I like the way they've implemented these a bit more now. Because in the past, they've they've made you put like all these little pieces on these leaf springs here. And then you gotta like gently lay it down and everything kind of falls off and you gotta top it off with these other little O-ring things. It is nice just to have a sock with a little nipple on it and then you can kind of lay it down and not have to worry about it. So yes, this is a little nicer. It isn't, you know, it is a ribbon cable. It is what it is. It's a little longer though, so it shouldn't really be that big of a deal. But uh, I do appreciate Does it flip up? No, it just pulls forward this one here. They're all a little different. Do appreciate the uh, little more streamlined. God, I hate ribbon cables. <clears throat> I 
Alex streaming on YouTube again? Starting to. All right, and that just sits nicely there. Cool. Wow. Okay, the build experience on this is stupidly streamlined. That is very, very, very nice. And really, you're just putting this back in there. Do you have to like press a little bit? You do. Wow, that's actually so nice. And that just locks back into place. No, the, the putting the top back on was actually pretty simple. Okay, I love this color, by the way. It almost has like a hint of green in it on that weight. That looks pretty nice. Wow. Slick board, yeah, this is nice. I don't know if I care for this weight, but I guess it's supposed to say Jelly Evolve, but it looks like Jelt Lolu. These don't really look like E's. And that kind of looks like an, I don't know, U. <laughs> I like it. Jelt Lolu. <laughs> it's like an alien galactic font. I kind of dig it. Yeah, everyone's a little different, guys. I I'm just, I'm being silly with it. I should have put plastic cover on it. <laughs> it should have, oh yeah, it does have a little bit of plastic cover. I'll let you remove that though. You know what? Unless you really want me to remove it, there is a plastic cover on it. Interesting font. Yeah. You know what though? The, the, the jelly tag has really grown on me. They had this one here and I wasn't sure how I felt about it on the original release, but it gives it some character. It does. Actually, I don't think this closed 100% actually. Hold on, let's, let's make sure this closes better. You're right. The top is a little finicky to close back up. There we go. Now it's good. YouTube things. What's happening with YouTube? Uh, I hear you like the, oh my God, it's so good. That Probably one of the best coffees I've had, like that I've done here. Um, I, I think I've had some like pretty good stuff here. So is there a lot of random, random loading screens? It says there's no drop frames and no dropped connection. I, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's a YouTube thing. All right. Now for keycap sets. What keycap set to put on this? Hmm. Hmm. GMK Norse. It's been freezing on me too. Really? Can you see my message just testing? I can. Hello. Is it freezing a little bit? I apologize, guys. Well, actually, I'm not sure I can really do it, unfortunately. Shoshin? It's a server thing, not Alex's connection. Yeah, my connection's 100% solid today. Usually during the day, it's always amazing. You know what? Maybe we, maybe we do Shoshin today. I don't have Olive. I need to ask Mike about Olive. Is Olive still in stock? Where is my Shoshin sets? Is it on something? I I can't remember if I put Shoshin on something or not. I really don't remember.
So wait, what do you guys want today on the set? NK has all of it in stock. Yeah, I'm probably gonna ask if I can have one. Shoshin's great. Olive, Shoshin, Blue Space Cadet. Wob, wanna go the, the boring route of Wob today? Norse? We could maybe do Norse. Hold on, I need to get the box for Norse as well. Um, give me one moment to, oh, there he is. Uh, let's say let me find it, but it's literally right here. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I think there's one keycap that fell behind my big desk for Norse. So if I happen to not have it, please no one get upset with me. I got lazy one day and didn't put it back in the box and put it in a baggie that I had. <clears throat> Holy. Like, damn, that is, okay, you guys can't really see from this view. Hold on. That is flexy. I'm a little nervous for how this is gonna work. Ay ay ay. Yeah, it's using the um, same mount as the spring, really. It's a little, little tweak, a little different. Interesting. We'll go back in and tune stabs if need be. Ooh, Norse is gonna look great on this. Holy moly. Yeah, that is crazy. I'm a little nervous to be honest. Man, why don't they use Norse more, guys? I feel like I used it like only a handful of times and then I've just stopped using it, but it's such a like, beautiful set, dude. Damn, this is pretty. I bet the case foam that doesn't affect sound is to dampen the amount of flex. Oh, perhaps then. Perhaps that's why they included it to help maybe add some firmness. You are very correct there. No, I don't think the case foam at the bottom would be absolutely necessary. There is still the plastic film. So if you wanted to go with something a little bit more, uh, I guess flexy in nature, you still have the plastic film so it won't short. Choice 65 or Neo, I would personally probably pick the Neo 65. Personally. Um, is it F9 here, F10, F11, yes. Beautiful. I think Omnitype still has Norse in stock. This board will sound deeper, I rock with it. Yeah, it's, I mean, dude, I'm gonna have a lot, I haven't really used a foamy or a PE foamed up keyboard in a while, so this should be a lot of fun today. Should be a lot of fun. Although, I'm gonna have to go in because I don't like the sound of this. I think it's the leaf spring. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It sounds like that leaf spring is, is doing something funky. So I'm gonna have to go in and double check that here in a bit. Luckily, it's not that hard to open this up. So let's uh, let's just put the keycaps on first. Um, if you guys, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna again kind of go into like a different. I know this is a client build, but I'll, I'll definitely give you guys some insight on something that I feel is important. I'm not really into keyboards that use metal metal uh, mounting points that move up and down. I worry because sometimes metal can sound squeaky or it has like a metallic -y resonance to it. So it's not usually my cup of tea when there's like a moving metal part in a keyboard like that. Ooh, the alpha sound great already though. Oh, this does not go here. Never tried uh, Nixie's or Vint MX Black's 
if you like a little bit of scratch and texture to your to your keyboard oh oh baby you're in for the like the whole world first of all they're definitely a little bit more poppy in sound signature so they're a bit brighter and oh man if you don't break them in or you just kind of like use them with a very light coat of lube if you kind of like that whole scratchy textured vibe you will fall in love with them absolutely immediately absolutely immediately why did i choose the neo i like the look of the neo a little bit more than i like the look of the choice for me it's a visual thing there i think both keyboards sound good though you won't be disappointed with either or I think chalky is a more pleasant, you know, dude, that's a pretty nice way to describe it. Chalky sounding. Okay. I don't think I've ever described it like that, but I'm here for it. Chalky sounding. All right. All right. Uh, where's the backspace? Chalky. Nice. Oh, no function on this. What's my favorite stabilizer? Oh, that's easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Give me some good old cherry clippings any day of the week, baby. Chalky milk. Uh, I'm really sorry. I don't, I know this has been said a few times. Chalky milk is not really my cup of drink. I don't like chocolate milk. It makes me so thirsty. Like, I know this would have been very, very cute with the 7U, but unfortunately this PCB doesn't support it. Ask Alex his favorite Switch chat. I don't know. Chalky milk makes me really thirsty. It does. It makes me way too thirsty. What is your favorite? What is your favorite drink? What do you, what do you guys like? Fairlife chocolate milk. I haven't tried the Fairlife one though, to be fair. I have not tried that one there. This is not how you put on a keycap. Gin tonic, iced lemon tea. Ooh, that sounds refreshing right now. That does sound refreshing. Ain't even gonna lie about it. Uh, page down. I need. This is what I mean. I think there's one keycap that I am like. Oh, I guess not. I guess we're good. Show us how to clip your cherry switches or your st stabilizers. You know what? Uh, I don't have any that I can clip right this instant prepared for you guys. But if you guys want to, next time I stream, if you guys want to stop by, I can show you guys there. I usually clip them every stream live when I use them. You know, I'll just put print here. Okay, Norse looks pretty good on this. Why do you not stream on Twitch today? Long story short. I just didn't agree with something the uh, Twitch was offering today. Like they... Oh, I see what's happening. So this is why, ooh, ribbon cable. This is why you guys gotta be careful with this, by the way. This has been moved downwards a little bit. Now we're good, no more scratchiness. Damn, this is really handy to have it open and close like this. Damn. No more scratchiness now. The leaf spring was aligned too much to the bottom and was touching just barely the bottom case. This looks nice. It looks nice with Norse. This is a nice looking case actually. You know what? I probably should have paid more attention to this board when it got released. Actually, Norse looks sick with this side profile too. 
because it goes really nice with this color. Damn, I really like this. I kind of want one of these boards now. Very cool. That side profile, do you like it though? Is there LEDs in this? Interesting how they did this. You can kind of see the FR4 for this here. Very interesting. Hmm. RGB in the back. That side profile looks like it has some movement. It does look like it has movement, right? It's weird. It looks like it like goes up and down. If there's an in-stock R2 for the Evolve, maybe I'll snag one. All right, it's all working. Is there RGB? I don't see any RGB. Oh, there is. Can you guys see that? Hold on. My cable needs to be a certain way here. Ah, it's too hard to see. Hold on, let me, uh, let me turn off the lights. A little dim, right there. Sorry, my camera's not gonna love me right now, but it's there. It's not super bright though. It's, uh, I would say like, if you happen to have this on a table where you can see the butt of this keyboard, it'll probably be there. I wonder though, can you see this from like a side profile view? No, nah, not really. Not really guys. Oh, I'm changing that to pure white. That'll look good with pure white. That will, I think this cable's dead on me. This is an old cable that I had because I used my space cable. Yeah, this cable's dead on me. Only works sometimes. I unplugged my space cable to put it in that, uh, <laughs> in that giant keyboard we built the other day. All right, shall we see how this sounds, guys? That does look nice. Can you give us that HJ test? You know what, here's a little HJ test. So this is, I haven't tuned up the stabilizers just, just yet. So here is the HJ. This is a PE film too. Um, it's with the standard PCB. Uh, hot swap, NK Olivia silks, and GMK keycaps. It's it's it almost doesn't really sound like what I'm expecting with the PE film, but I don't mind that at all. Okay, a little bit of PE film. I can definitely hear a little bit of it. I do want to change up the space bar. I hope Ambo doesn't mind. Ambo is the owner of this. I feel like the Nixie is not quite deep or loud enough for this particular board. And maybe it's because of the PE film. It might be. But. Let's see, let's try something else here. Yeah, let's, let's pick a different switch for this guy. We got lots of options here. Lots of different choices and my little bucket next to me. Uh, first, what can we try first here? You know what, first let's try a Gatoron Milky Yellow. Let's try one of these guys first. Better, I need to tune the stab up a little bit. Definitely better. Next, we're gonna try an HMX switch. Uh, and if you guys are, have never done this before, it's totally okay to use different key cap or switches for different things in the keyboard. Find something that suits your style and your preference. It's not like it's illegal to try different switches and stuff in different sp uh, spaces. Not everything needs to be the same switch. Um, 
from the top of the key. What happened? All right, we're gonna try HMX next. So this I like. Put these in order. Believe it or not, Nixie is at the the back of the list right now. Let's try. Is it the jammy? Let's try the jammy. Let's try this guy first. Uh, BCP? Oh, hold on. This might be my favorite ones, actually. Or actually, I don't know. Did you guys like the Gatoron Milky Yellow or this? I feel like this is nicer. Okay, hold on. We'll try a few more. I'm kind of into both the jammy so far, as well as... Okay, so these two, we'll, we'll put this as my tier list for space bars. And then, let's see, what else do I have in here that we can try? We could try a macchiato from HMX. That'll be too low. Do I have any more of those curry switches? Oh, dropped a switch. I wanna see if I have a curry switch, because curry switches are like absolute beasts. I do have them at being a space bar. They're kind of beasts. Let's try the curry switch first. Dude, curry switches are such deep space bars. I don't mind it, it's definitely not my favorite. I still prefer this guy, but I don't mind this at all. The curry switch is really fun. Um, I hear so much ping coming from this keyboard, bro. I don't hear a single ping coming from this keyboard. Do you guys hear ping? It might be your headphones. I. I don't hear a single ping coming from the, the the keyboard at all. What's up, Matthew? How you doing, man? Yeah, I don't hear a single ping. Guys, just as a reminder, by the way, um, with any sound thing, rem reminder that headphones all play a big factor on how you're gonna hear something too, right? Oh wait, okay, the macchiato is actually my favorite. I think this sounds slightly better than the jammy. Yeah, I think that's the one. Overall, I think the board sounds really nice, actually. Again, we did use PE film for this. It's very loud, I will say. Uh, I've noticed, though, with all the space bars that we've tried, maybe it's a characteristic of the Evolve. Most of the space bars, while I think this does sound the best so far, I do think it has a bit more of an echo. Uh, it's not quite as full as some other space bars that we've had. Um, maybe my solution to that would possibly be, you know what, let me see if I can test some stuff here. I don't know if you guys are down to hang out with me while I just do some stuff to this board. I can tell you right now why this is happening, by the way. See these mounting points right here? See how they're right under the space bar?
interesting. We have foam on the case to force break it, I assume. Interesting. I wonder. Fuck. I want to try something so badly. I want to unscrew both these leaf springs and just take out this mounting point entirely. But I also don't think that'll work well. Hmm. Let me think. Yeah, apparently YouTube stream is not being like the nicest, so go for it. Let's, let's give it a go, shall we? I'm just gonna flip this like this. Ambo, I'll give you all the switches that we used and tested today, by the way. You can have them all. Um, I just want to see. It might not work. Perhaps it does nothing. But I, I am genuinely curious. You know, I like this, this set that I have here. But also, I also hate... How it's organized. I'd be doing the same experiments. Huh? Okay, we're gonna take out this bottom mount here and then we can re-put it in later because this is quite easy to realign and stuff. Just be careful as we take this out. There's an O-ring there as well. I'll take you out as well. Buy o ring. All the o rings are set nice. We're not o rings. Okay. All right. Now that that's removed, we should have a space bar that doesn't really hit anything and doesn't feel as like, in theory. Shouldn't feel as like hollow. Yeah, I think that actually works. The squeak was from the other thing not being aligned. I actually think that's so much better, by the way. That sounds so much better, actually. Uh, something in there sounds polycarbonate. Oh, it's probably just the, the PE film that we have, Gingy. Oh, the squeak again? No, it's the squeak's gone. It's because this one here wasn't aligned. Uh, try it again with the Nixie. Yeah, we could. Sounds fuller. Yeah, it does sound nicer, right? Dude, I'm telling you, if you see a keyboard design, where they put a bunch of mounting points underneath where the space bar is, I usually think it's usually a bad design. Oh. That's so fucking different, dude. Sorry my language. That's so... Suddenly the Nixie's at the top again for me. Suddenly it's different, bro. I'm, I'm, we, uh, wow, well, I need to try this on my Evolve. Yeah, just be careful you take those things out. That's all. Damn, dude. Suddenly it's at the top. Yeah, you just gotta be careful. Like I said, with anything that's mounted underneath the space bar, whether it's top mount, gasket, some exceptions are in that rule. Don't get me wrong. But usually this will flatten a sound or in this case, make it sound really flat. So. Damn, that actually sounds sick. Must try this on my bulb. Yeah, try it guys. That's, that's crazy different. That's so crazy different. 
it does feel a little bit softer. Like it's not crazy. You can still see it like doesn't bottom out. It does feel a little softer. It doesn't feel as stiff. The other big thing too, which it didn't really affect it on this guy because it was using springs, but like on a top mount or maybe something that's a little more uh, like a firmer gasket mount, um, a mounting point here will also make the space bar kind of fatiguing. Uh, and when you go to hit it, it doesn't really, you know, bounce back out you, at you. So you can sometimes get uh, like this harsher feeling spacebar, which can be rather fatiguing to typing. So, uh, but now no flex. There is tons of flex still, tons of it. We didn't change anything other than take out two springs. <laughs> yeah, the shitty foam probably. <laughs> I like how we're just calling it shitty foam. That foam will probably end up reducing some of the flex if you put it in. Norse underrated, nice set. Well, cool, that was fun. I'm very happy with the way that turned out. Ambo, I hope you liked this. Um, Vint Blacks are a meme, just get broken in. Huh? They're not a meme. Alex, what's a good aluminum 60% keyboard? Around 100 bucks. You can find Bacanecos, or even I would say, how much is the QK60? Or um, Keychron. Keychron makes some decent stuff. Alex on YouTube, WTF. Okay, ready for it's gonna go super speed on this side and catch up. I don't know why it does that for. That's weird. Um, Makes me feel like you guys were typing a lot though, so it makes me happy. I'm glad everyone's enjoying their time here. Uh, just put the QK60, it's been great. Yeah, it's a, good, it's a solid keyboard. It's a, it's a very solid keyboard. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm hoping to maybe do more of these. Um, at least once a week I wanna do one more. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, this was really fun. I, um, I genuinely appreciate you guys coming to YouTube to watch the stream today. Uh, since when do you do streaming on YouTube? Probably going to be doing a lot more of it. So my personal favorite budget Alu 60 is the V1 Brutal. Oh, the V1 Brutal. That's a classic. I don't really like the Brutal series personally. I'm not a Brutal series kind of guy. Enjoyed the YouTube stream. Would love to see you here more. I'm hoping to be here more. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed it. Um, there's no ratings, so we're not going to be rating anyone, but YouTube's cleaner. Yeah, I, like I said, I really hope you guys enjoyed the, the time here on YouTube. I think this has been really fun. Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna head off myself right now. Yeah, we already did a sound test. Um, you can rewind now too, which is like pretty, well, not that you couldn't do it before, but. But yeah, hope you guys have been enjoying everything. I hope life's been good for you guys. Um, I'll be streaming again tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a bit more of a chill stream. So expect a lot of random topics. Oh, also, expect me to be talking everyone's ears off about Last Epic tomorrow, because I'm probably gonna go download that and play it later tonight. <laughs> so if you guys are wanting to um, talk some video games, dude, tomorrow's gonna be the day, bro. Tomorrow I'm gonna go ham on talking about video games. Uh, tomorrow we're doing 7 p.m., are we not? Let me double check Discord. Um, I don't remember what time we're doing tomorrow. Man, I organized my Discord and that had to be the worst idea possible. Uh, tomorrow we're doing the T9 Retro at 7 p.m. So it'll be a 7 p.m. stream. But yeah, I hope you guys have a good one. I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Wait, last epic is screwed at the moment. Servers are struggling. Well, maybe I won't be playing last epic tonight, but we'll still talk about it because I'll probably watch some streams for it or something. Uh, see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel here and I appreciate everyone who's, uh, I guess, subscribed or added their membership here. Really appreciate it, guys. And uh, see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. See ya.